Welcome to this edition of Joseph Ross Back Photography Digital Workflow Training. In this episode, we're going to talk about raw file, raw file conversions. So let's go ahead and get started here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up this raw file by right clicking and going into Open in Camera Raw. And this is going to bring up our Adobe Camera Raw. And we're going to go ahead and make some basic adjustments to the shot to develop the image. Uh, first thing you want to do is make sure that we have our highlight and shadow clipping warning boxes turned on. And when they're on, you'll notice there is a, you know, a white uh, border around the box, okay? And you definitely want these on. See, you can see I'm clipping some highlights right here in the image. And I want to make sure that I know when I'm clipping highlights or I'm clipping shadows in the shot. And that is the first thing I'm going to deal with in the shot is those clipped highlights just by coming down to the recovery tab and sliding this over to bring those back, all right? Second thing I want to do is I want to introduce a little bit more blue into the image. It's a little warm overall, so I'm just going to slide this. There we go. Very subtle, but a big difference in my opinion. And we need to introduce a little more contrast into the shot, so I'm going to slide the black slider over. And you can see if I slide this too far, it just gets too dark. In fact, I'm starting to clip detail down here. See where the blue highlights are? There's no detail in those shadows. All right, so I need to bring this back a little bit. I'll start over from scratch. I'm just going to slide this up until my histogram gets close or just begins to touch the edge. All right, looking good. I'll bring a little fill light in to fill in some of the shadows, bring out a little more detail on the dark side of the rock. And I'm going to go ahead and increase the vibrance about 30 points to just really make the image pop. Um, you know, I can see that I can still bring the histogram over a little bit to pop out some highlights. I'm not going to do that by dragging the exposure or the brightness. It's going to globally adjust the entire image. I want to do that just by the highlight region. So I'm going to come into this Tone Curve tab and go down to the Highlight slider and just move this up until I've brightened some of my highlights in the image. There we go. And we can always look at a before and an after. Good. And that's where we are right now with this shot. It's pretty much ready to be opened up into Photoshop and have some finishing touches put on the image. And we'll do that just by coming down here and clicking on to Open Image. And that will go ahead and this image up into Photoshop. So join us on our next edition of Joseph Rossback Online Training where we'll go over uh, layers and masks for basic adjustments inside of Photoshop. Thank you very much.